Hi guys. In one of my previous videos, I put on a water slide decal of graffiti on the side of this combat medic. The water slide is bright and opaque, giving the impression the graffiti was new. This is great if this is what you want, but not so great if what you want is an aged look to the graffiti, like it's been on the object for decades. For that look, we need to do something different. Enter the water transfer tattoo. This is a custom dairy delivery I made for a YouTube friend I'm doing a blue card trade with. The graffiti on this model looks like it's been there for years. This is because water transfer tattoos are transparent. This transparency comes off as a faded look, the look we want. Essentially water transfer tattoos are just cheap water slides. The trick to using them and customizing is that they work best on white to gray surfaces and really not at all on dark surfaces. The major downfall is they expect the background to be some shade of white, so if you use them on a solid black car, you won't be able to see them at all. Well enough talk, let's go put one on. The tattoo I'll be using comes from this freestyle packet I purchased from Walgreens for a couple bucks. This one has several graffiti tattoos in it, so I'm just going to pick one that I think will fit and will look good. After you pick one, place it on the car with a plastic protective sheet on to test your placement. One thing that is sort of a pain is you can't really see where the tattoo is going like a dry transfer or a water slide. To get around this, I cut the tattoo out of the card as close as I can to the art and then use these areas as markers for final placement. Once you have it where you want it, simply peel off the plastic coating and stick it on. Then using a small water soaked paper towel, wet the tattoo. Allow the tattoo to soak for at least two minutes before you attempt to remove the backing. To remove the backing, I use some tweezers to carefully pry up a corner and then slowly begin bending the backing away from the tattoo. Careful not to tear it. If the tattoo is coming up with the backing, I release the pressure and then press the backing back against the car to get the tattoo to stick. I then try removing the backing again. With any luck the tattoo will take, and I'll slowly lift the backing off. Care should be taken at the end, as this is usually where the mistakes are made and the tattoo is ripped. Luckily this one came out pretty good, given that I was doing the whole thing looking at the camera screen. Once the backing is off, you can use a wet brush to gently remove any air bubbles that may have been trapped. Also, you can sometimes smooth out any wrinkles that may have formed. I say sometimes because tattoos are not as forgiving as water slides and generally do not slide around except at the edges so a wrinkle down the middle is usually detrimental. However, I should note that mistakes are easy to fix because you can simply remove the tattoo with a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol, and then you can try again. For edges and recesses, I use a straight brush with harder bristles. I then go over the edges and recesses with this brush to force the tattoo in. This gives the painted on look that you would want in this type of model. When I'm pleased with the look, I simply let the tattoo dry and then clear coat with matte. And that's it. If you've made mistakes, at least in this case, you can hide them with washes and pigments. Practice makes perfect, and before long you'll be sticking them in places you would never dream of using a dry transfer decal or even a water slide. The best part of all is they're so cheap you can just remove them and try again until you get the look that you desire. Well, thanks again for watching.